Hi, this is Jules Sanderson for FionaDobson.com and today I'm talking about transition and the estrogen roller coaster. When you start HRT, you'll likely be on two medicines, estrogen and spironolactone. The spironolactone suppresses testosterone. I think we all have expectations at a time like that. Those expectations are often about the physical changes that will result, but believe me, the physical changes aren't even the half of it. It's been quite a surprise just how impacting HRT has been psychologically. I'll try to explain, but keep in mind, this is very subjective and likely everybody experiences this just a little differently. Some mornings I get up and I feel great. Not quite euphoric, it's not that dramatic, but I feel noticeably good. Just happy to be alive. It's an extraordinary thing. I'm not saying I never felt this as a man, but as a man, I needed a reason to feel like this. Now, often, it's just there. It's as though my default on waking, happiness setting, is just a little higher. This leads me to ask a couple of questions. Could I always have had this feeling? Is this how other people, normal people, feel every day? How might my life have been different if I'd always felt like this? I don't waste too much time thinking about the past, but if this is how my life is from here on, well, that's pretty cool. This next part is hard to articulate. I really think I experience happiness and sadness rather differently now. And I should say, I'm now on estrogen about two years, maybe a little more, but injected estrogen, something like five months. As a man, I often found sadness was accompanied by frustration and in a way anger. I'm not saying I had a problem with this, but sadness definitely included some aspects of resistance, internal struggle. I now experience that sadness in a more complicit way. I'm prepared to sit with it. It's milder, almost bittersweet. I cry more easily and feel much better afterwards. To a man, it must sound a little crazy, and yet we've witnessed it in our wives and our girlfriends and we often disregard it a little too easily. I find some things tip me into either sadness or happiness more easily as well. It's not so much a mood swing as a greater variety of feeling. On the other end of the scale, I find feelings of happiness are a sort of slow burn into joy rather than the immediate flash of emotion I felt as a man. And those good feelings stick around a little longer too. A sort of underlying contentment Again, not something I experienced as a man at all. I've questioned myself, wondering if this is all psychosomatic. Having talked with many trans friends, I think I can dismiss that thought. So going back to that earlier question of how might my life have been different, if this had been the way I experienced the world in all my adult life, I find that the next question has to be, who would I have grown up to be? I don't regret waiting to transition until I did. I wouldn't be the person I am had I done things differently. But the thought is intriguing. I also wonder if this is how I was always meant to feel. And that's how I think about it. I wonder if my quite troubled teen years might have been a lot happier had I not had the issue of going through male puberty. Perhaps I would have done those things I regret rather differently. There's not much doubt in my mind that when I do things now, I'm more sensitive to the needs and feelings of others for example. It's not that the highs are higher or the lows lower. It's just that they feel different, more nuanced, and it feels right. I'm Jill Sanderson for FionaDobson.com. Be sure to like and subscribe. That helps me a little bit. And I shall be making another recording sometime in the next week or so.